winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. KUM News Headlines are presented by Calvo's Insurance, protecting Micronesia for 85 years. Matson celebrating 25 years of commitment to Guam, Micronesia, and the CNMI. Cars Plus Finish Line Express is now open at Cars Plus in Mighty. The state-of-the-art car wash is now open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. And King's Restaurant, serving your local breakfast, lunch, and dinner favorites for over 45 years. Ahead on KUAM News Primetime. What issues do residents want the governor to speak on during tonight's State of the Island Address? I'm Mitsuki Hariyama with a look on how the community is feeling on the current condition of Guam. The speaker and the governor in a war of words over the Eagles Field lease for a new medical campus. I'm Mr. Lakanto. We'll have details coming up. Community members calling for the government to save our airlines as one airliner had its multi-million dollar contract terminated by the government. I'm Tomas Manglonia with a story as some of its executives meet with lawmakers today. Half a day and buenas noches. Buen venido para que yo emus primetime. Guahusi Nick Delgado. Sa guahusi Destiny Cruz. Siza asma asi puri manyanyo mizi guini na programa. Well, Des, the day is here. The 2023 State of the Island Address happening over at the Guam Congress Building. KUAM will have full coverage of the address. We begin by taking you down to Hagatnya, where our Mitsuki Hirayama is standing by with a look at the session hall. Mitsuki. Des and Nick, what will Governor Leon Guerrero focus on during tonight's State of the Island Address? It's one of the island's most important political events, with all members of GovGuam under one roof from the executive, judicial and legislative branches. And what we can tell you is that one of the major announcements expected in the speech is the signing of the lease with the Navy for a 21st century medical campus. And it's arguably the governor's top goal to build a new hospital, but her chosen site of Eagles Field in Mangilao is coming under fire from the legislature and original landowners. We'll have much more on that coming up soon. Meanwhile, residents are sounding off on what they feel is the current condition of the island. The community sounds off on what they feel is the current state of the island. I think it's pretty stable so far, yeah. I think that's what I think about uh, Guam's current situation. I'm just visiting here, so I don't know much, but uh, it's been a while since I've been here, but um, I think this has improved a lot since I uh, was here a couple of years ago. Some say Guam is doing good. Others say people are struggling. All I can say is tax because, you know, that's what we're all waiting for. And, you know, because, yeah, there's some of us still going back to work, getting a job, you know, getting back on our feet. And some families don't have a home. You know, I've been hearing about the homeless people. Food is becoming a harder thing. It's, things are expensive and it's hard. You know, we're not getting enough money to buy our food. So most of them are going to propose to do about that. Homelessness, panhandling, and the high cost of living. Those are just some of the issues that Edo residents, Adrico Matias, and Perry are hoping the governor will address tonight. Honestly, I think they should be opening up a lot of shelters for our, you know, our homeless. They really got nowhere to go. You know, that's why they're on the streets. Here, on, many, we spoke with you know, while well, many we spoke road, with are looking for forward money. to hearing this more from tonight, to back here, senators, department kind of officials, a... and other dignitaries now wait to hear on what she has to say as well. And we've got you covered. KUAM will bring you live coverage in partnership with PBS Guam right here along with reaction. For now, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Suki. Well, meanwhile, Speaker Therese Terlahi blasted the Eagles Field lease signing, even comparing the administration to the old naval government governorship when the military controlled the island. Terlahi calling it a mockery that the 100-year lease would be signed, while a bill to require legislative approval for any federal lease of more than five years sits on the governor's desk. Nestor Lakanto reports. We wanted to interview Speaker Terlahi on her remarks, but her office said she wouldn't be available. But the Speaker had no shortage of written words about the Eagles Field deal. In an early morning release to Island Media, she wrote that the lease is, quote, a mockery of our already limited self-government. 
She continued, it is akin to the naval governors of the past who ignored the wishes of the legislature and the people of Guam. The speaker wrote, there is no reason we cannot build a new hospital while vetting the details, the costs, the obligations, the location, and to ensure that it is going to benefit the people of Guam first. She is referring to her bill, which requires legislative approval for any leases of federal land for more than five years. Terlai concluded, what is most egregious is the intentional timing of a lease on the day of the governor's State of the Island address, while a bill that was passed unanimously is sitting on her desk, which simply asks the governor to vet any potential lease with the legislature and the people of Guam. But Senator Will Parkinson responded to the speaker, saying while his first choice is to return the land, he was advised point blank by the admiral that it wasn't possible. So let's just be honest here and call a spade a spade and what the real intent this bill is meant to obstruct the hospital. If this bill was to pass, I mean, it was sold as such. It was sold that if, if we obstruct the hospital, the landowners would get a shot at their land back. And so that's clearly what this is. This is a bill meant to obstruct the, ha the hospital in an effort to get landowners their land back. But if that's a false promise, if that's something we can't actually deliver, then it's irresponsible of us not to move forward building a hospital while pushing false promises for political points. Adloop issued a similar reaction, accusing the speaker of political gamesmanship. They said she was stoking anti-American and anti-military sentiment and giving false hope to original landowners for her political agenda and ambition, continuously misleading them to believe in the possibility, they wrote, that these lands will be returned. Nestor Lacanto, KUAM News. And the original landowners of Eagles Field mustered a last-minute online letter writing campaign calling on the governor not to sign the lease. They are still seeking the return of their land, known as Lalo, in Manilao. In the letter, it reads, quote, We stand with the original landowners of Lalo who are disheartened about the governor's backdoor negotiations with the military on the use of their land and the news of a lease that will be delivered at 3 p.m. today for the governor's signature. It goes on, choose another location for the hospital. This land belongs to Chamorro families, but the governor's office say they hadn't planned to sign a lease today, and a spokesperson for Joint Region Marianas confirms that. We're scheduled to speak with Admiral Benjamin Nicholson tomorrow for his take on the controversy. And that's a lot of senators also issuing their response after all of this unfolded today. You can see all of that right now on KUAM.com. And we're going to take a quick break, but we have more news in a moment. Keep it here. You're watching KUAM. The wait is over, Guam. The all-new state-of-the-art car wash is now open at Cars Plus. Introducing Finish Line Express, open seven days a week. The all largest car wash on island that can accommodate vehicles such as lifted jeeps and full-size pickup trucks just roll up pick a wash insert credit card or show your ever wash app and roll through plus power vacuums are available to clean the interior show your vehicle some love today at the all-new car wash at cars plus and my team open from 7 a.m to 7 p.m seven days a week Days. As you all know, our island's had a very successful year, and I'd love to hear about all of the progress we've made. Skyler, why don't we start with you? We've helped over 1,200 Guam kids and their families pay for childcare. And that's over $5.5 million in childcare costs so far. Over 130 after-school and community care programs have received grant funding for programs like swimming. And cycling. And soccer. And jiu-jitsu. We've also graduated three cohorts. And our providers certificate program at GCC and certified over 75 relative care providers. Looks like we have a messaging coming from headquarters. Hi kids, I just want to say congratulations on all your successes this past year. Thank you Governor Lou. We couldn't have done it without you. Keep up the great work. He's ready for recess. This ad is paid for with funds administered by the Department of Public Health and Social Services. 
It's a tough job that can be deadly. The Guam police chief responding to the recent news that his officer is cleared of all charges in connection to the gas station shooting in Dededo that claimed the life of one man. The dismissal of the case comes one year after the deadly incident. And tonight, the top brass confirms the internal affairs investigation shows the same results that Officer Justin Kanga should have never been charged. Guam Police Department Officer Justin Kenga can continue to protect and serve without criminal charges of manslaughter and negligent homicide hanging over his head. A Superior Court of Guam judge recently dismissed the charges without prejudice at the request of the Attorney General's office, Police Chief Stephen Ignacio. I'm glad to hear that the Attorney General decided to drop the charges against Officer Kenga and not pursue the, uh, the indictment that was handed down by the uh, a previous grand jury. Officer King responded to the Shell gas station off Route 1 in Dededo on March 9th of last year. It's there. Witnesses say Iope Rudolph was targeting people with a slingshot. Witnesses telling police Rudolph was drinking alcohol and refused to get out of his car before he revved his engine and hit Kenga twice. Kenga opened fire and shot Rudolph. Attorney General Douglas Moylan stated, quote, the Shell gas station manager who witnessed the shooting even stated and would have testified that Officer Kanga acted in self-defense. That's actually in line, uh, of course, with our internal affairs findings. Uh, Officer Kanga was also, uh, with the administrative investigation, uh, cleared. And uh, we felt uh, the investigation, you know, we, we believe that our investigation showed that his actions were justified. And, uh, you know, it was uh, the, the use of deadly force was in line with our policies and procedures and the situation that unfolded uh, that he was presented with at the site. Kenga now fully cleared of any wrongdoing in the shooting. Unfortunately, the, the job of police officers at times, you know, to use deadly force, which may uh, result in the, the loss of human life. But at, at the expense of the human life, we are also protecting uh, the community at large and their lives uh, who are put at risk. Ignacio also offering this message to Rudolph's family. We extend uh, you know, our deepest condolences to the family and you know, uh, this, is, this is not something that you know, police officers wake up and, and, and want to do. You know, it's just unfortunately a part of what we uh, swear uh, an oath to uh, in order to keep our community safe. Meantime, A.G. Moreland stated this case should never have been charged adding, my job is not only to root out bad law enforcement officers, but also to protect those officers who act within their authority in protection of others in situations that many of us would never want to face. The NMI's two commuter airliners making their case before senators on why their services are critical to the islands amid ongoing litigation and a terminated federally funded contract. Regional correspondent Tomas Manglotny reports on the turbulence for the industry. Anywhere we can have competing interests between two entities benefits the greater populace. Regional airline issues under the NMI Senate's microscope Wednesday in a hearing where lawmakers peppered executives, the Commonwealth Ports Authority, and the Marianas Visitors Authority with questions about recent turbulence. We've had a, a difficult, I would say, relationship with the uh, Ports Authority. Star Marianas offering their side amid ongoing legal challenges related to landing fees and airport rates. The four-hour meeting began with a back-and-forth between Star Marianas and CPA, which declined to respond directly due to ongoing litigation. Marianas Southern Airways also seeking a course correction after their $8 million American Rescue Plan federally funded contract was terminated by Governor Arnold Palacios due to a lack of funds. They're still waiting to hear from the administration. It's just, the, it's the, I guess, the complete neglect of a response from anyone. And you guys didn't have it. I understand that you guys didn't see it and you weren't party to it. But um, because if again, if you go to the last page, it's like we're open, we're ready to talk to anybody. Let's at least have a dialogue. MSA says the recent termination has painted a gloomy picture for future airline investors, and MSA will remain on island if the NMI wants it here. Rhoda and Tinian mayors made the need for both airlines clear. Our residents have to travel to seek medical care because we do not have the resources or the facilities to address their medical concerns on road. You know, some of these people that work on, on Tinian now, they don't stay on Tinian. They stay here in Saipan and they commute every day. The contradiction seems to be that the NMI government wants to revive the economy amid a deficit, but inter-island airliners say they're not receiving the support from the government to be a critical economic bridge. 
As a result, ticket prices have skyrocketed and residents, especially from Rhoda and Tinian, end up carrying the burden amid potential threats of current business shutting down or no future investments because of the toxic environment. Lawmakers say they want to help find more funding sources outside of the local budget and lead stakeholders to common ground. Again, the CNMI cannot afford any further litigation on any matter. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan. Now for a look at your world at home. Here's a view captured from the Cove at Alupang. A view and more music that you can listen to anytime with this QR code on Isla Digital Radio. Do you ever wonder how your favorite products make their way into your local stores? Most arrive on state-of-the-art mats and vessels that transport containers of food, household items, equipment and supplies into the islands every week. Because we know that you depend on us, we work closely with our partners to ensure that our shipments arrive on time, all the time, so you can find your favorite products when you need them. We transport the region's most precious cargo that supports successful businesses and promotes a better quality of life for our families. Matson is proud to have been the hometown shipping carrier for Guam, the CNMI, and Micronesia for the past 25 years. And you can count on us to be here for generations to come. Everybody feel it come around with the rhythm, this is sound. If you feel it come around with round with round, everybody feel it come around with the rhythm, this is sound. Everybody get down when we give it to you. Everybody feel it come around with the This burger looked at one slice of melted cheese and said, more cheese. It looked at pickles and said, also onions. It wanted to be more than hot. It wanted to be juicy. This is the Quarter Pounder with cheese. If you thought one napkin for the Quarter Pounder with cheese was enough, it's not enough. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Now time to check in with our partners at Clutch Guam. Check out the final score. Do that by working hard, doing the practice, and 
likes and following and listening to our content. Hafadei, I'm Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio, and one of the most exciting things I've been doing lately is partnering with Clutch Guam uh, on this basketball is art project, among other projects throughout Guam, trying to get programs and services out to the youth. What I really like about basketball is art uh, is it uh, checks off a few things. Number one, it promotes island pride. Uh, it allows uh, the greater community to take appreciation of places. Not everybody is into basketball, but by putting art uh, on the basketball courts, it attracts more attention and it really makes people feel happy. A couple of reasons that Bank of Guam supporting basketball is art. One, we love to support anything that's community centric, anything that gets our youth involved and empowered in being inspired to give back, to do better, to really develop their trade. We love the basketball is art concept and this project. When it was brought up to us, we knew we couldn't say no to it. Clutch is bringing all these kids to come together, enjoy the, uh, the sport of basketball. Uh, in all these different communities where maybe an athlete from the northern island of Guam hasn't even seen what Agate has to offer and Arahan has to offer in, in terms of uh, the beauty of the, of the South, right? So being able to, to really get everyone together to support clutch basketball as art and, and just the game. That brings um, greater success to our, our community, greater success to their families. And, and contribute to the prosperity of, of our island. This is our one way of giving back to, to the community, show the love and support that they gave us to us. So this is our one way of giving it back to them. Be part or sponsor one of the courts, especially Tamuning and we are here in Tamuning. This is like our home and it's gonna be a humbling experience and uh, we are so proud to be part of this uh, event. And if we can reach out just the way this project is to every community, each village, the way this project is, it's so powerful. And it's, you know, that, that one thing you can do for your community, it just, it means a lot to us. I think having a safe space, a very inspiring space for children and young adults to grow up and to be able to play basketball and play sports, um, you couldn't ask for anything more to be able to give back to your community. Basketball is such a growing sport here on Guam. My boys, you know, my two sons, they love it so much and we can see the passion amongst so many young kids out there. All right, and we'll be right back. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Don't need to work, babe. Keep the smile on your face. The moments you can't replay. And I'll be around. Wherever life takes you, we're always here for you. Calvo's Insurance. Count on us for life. Only Pizza Hut lets you surround your favorite pizza with greatness. The one and only stuffed crust pizza tempts your taste buds with melted cheese stuffed inside that amazing crust. And at just $18.99 with one topping, the stuffed crust pizza is truly irresistible. So grab your slice of pizza perfection with cheesy goodness baked right into the crust. The stuffed crust pizza, just $18.99 with one topping. Only at Pizza Hut, the island's best. Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month. Plus, a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. 
The wait is over, Guam. The all-new state-of-the-art car wash is now open at Cars Plus. Introducing Finish Line Express, open seven days a week. The all-new cashless drive through car wash is also the largest car wash on island that can accommodate vehicles such as lifted Jeeps and full-size pickup trucks. Just roll up, pick a wash, insert credit card, or show your EverWash app and roll through. Plus, power vacuums are available to clean the interior. Show your vehicle some love today at the all-new car wash at Cars Plus and Mighty. Open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. Welcome back to Celebrate Women's History Month. Every Wednesday in March, we'll be introducing you to some amazing women. Our weekly feature, Women's Histories, now celebrates women in different industries. This week, we shine the spotlight on a few of the women in the health and fitness industry. My name is Tossie Ada. I'm a licensed doctor of physical therapy. I am one of the practicing clinicians there at Custom Fitness. I also coach and I personal train and then I also provide some programming as well. And I'm the Guam Rugby Physio for the women's team. My name is Livia Marati and I'm the founder of Eno Wellness Collective. My name is Clara Calvo and I am the founder and co-owner of Synergy Studios and Wellness. Half a day. My name is Francesca Ambrose. I am an account executive at Calvo Select Care. My name is Desiree A. Mukugai, and I am the co-owner of the Fortress Guam. I think first and foremost is fostering an environment that influences growth, but most importantly, provides a place for everyone in fitness. Um, we just are trying to touch lives and change the culture one goal at a time. The motto at Synergy has been, it's been 19 years since 2004, has always been for fitness meets wellness. And so our mission is really just to provide those tools to help empower people to bridge fitness and wellness, mentally, emotionally, and physically, obviously. The mission is really to inspire a holistic, healthy lifestyle here on Guam and make wellness accessible within our island and then beyond as well. Being able to be a part of everyone's journey. When clients first come to me, they come to me with kind of almost a generic goal and then that transforms into other things. So it's an honor to be a part of that and just kind of sit back and witness this metamorphosis, if you will. It's been really amazing to see over the past three years, uh, really the community start to grow. The events are getting bigger, there's more demand. Also just seeing people start their wellness journey. So come to their first yoga class, experience their first event, and then see that spark an even bigger wellness journey for them too. Some of the most rewarding things is being able to help people of course someone is scared someone's having an issue and we could walk them through it and they're like thank you for making that so easy thank you for your assistance through that that's always nice to hear don't just recite your philosophy embody it i hope i'm saying that right but epictetus and he is a stoic greek philosopher and so really just making sure you're leading by example lately i would say i've been saying say la vie a lot in the past i don't like change i like things to stay as is and so when things change i've just been like when i'm throwing something i've just been kind of like say la vie learning to control things that i can control and to kind of let go of the ones that i have no control over just move on. My quote for life, I would say, is really just trust the process. That has shown up a lot for me as an entrepreneur in my own wellness journey and just trusting the timing and, and trusting the process. For me, it's going to a CrossFit class at Stu Athletics. Not just the actual workout, but yes, the working out itself is always a good reliever, even if at times I'm like, I don't really want to go. I know at the end of that hour, I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna feel so much better. Doing absolutely nothing, which I'm a mom of three, so that never happens, but I, I think just being able to be home finally and, and with my family. I find that when I just stop, because I tend to, I'm a Gemini moon, so I tend to just go, 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 do try to do as much as I can. When I just pause, close my eyes, take a deep breath, and just bring to mind all of my blessings, and it's usually just my son hearing him laugh or usually it's just I'm thinking of all the people in my life that I'm grateful for. My hype song is going to have to be uh, Pick Up the Pace by Big Crit. He's a southern rapper and really the reason is in the, the name, the title, is Picking Up the Pace and so anytime I feel like I'm losing momentum or I feel like I, I just need to have that last push to complete a task, usually that's a good song that I I go to. I love old school hip hop, so everything from Eric B and Rakim 
to um, everything. Nas, a lot of Busta Rhymes music, Missy, and Let Me Clear My Throat is definitely one of my top. Viva cumpleaños. Viva, time to check out your Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club shout out submitted on KUAM.com. Okay guys, we are about halfway through March, but we are just getting started with saying happy birthday on March 15th to some extra special Guamanians. And we begin with Nevea Villa Gomez, who celebrates birthday number 15. All right, this is a thing, and I just realized this right now. My coworkers just told me Nevea is actually heaven spelled backwards, and that is really, really awesome. And 15 years old today, your mom and dad say we love you. So Nevea, we wish you the very best and have a wonderful birthday. Trisha and Kenata Rosalyn, happy birthday to you from Daddy, Jaron, Noah, Caden, Isaiah, Odin, and KJ. And their messages, may God continue to bless you and may all your wishes come true. Aw, we love you, they say sincerely. Axel, Lucas, and Nicholas, may God bless you always with good health, joy, and a wonderful life. We love you so much to your mama Edna, grandpa Domingo, Auntie Cameron, and Auntie Cassie, and your mom Charmaine and dad Lee. Jacob Ryan and Javen Daniel Mesa, Happy belated six birthdays to the Dingas. Love the familia. And then they use that really cool, the, the super cool, like the emoji. Going, da, 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 da. You know which one I'm talking about, right? They use that one. Just trust me. It, it sounded really, really good. All right. John Uggin, happy 52nd birthday to you, John. Your message is, we hope you have a great day and we love you. Say, mom, dad, Alona, your awesome sister, Joan, Ray, and all of the familia. Mr. John, we wish you a happy 52nd, and we wish all of today's birthday celebrants the best day ever. 